From the earliest days of the church, deacons have performed an essential ministry. They're often called the left and right hand of the bishop, and they reveal Christ's love, especially through service, as Christ laid down his life in service for us. In fact, the word deacon comes from dakonia, which means service in Greek. And this can be service for the poor, but also serving as an assistant to the bishop and priests in their ministries. For example, they can preach, baptize, and preside at weddings. So it is a noble vocation, but is God calling you to be a married deacon? You want to serve the church, but you also want to get married and have kids. So is God calling you to be a deacon? Maybe, but you're not married yet, and God is speaking to your heart now. You can't become a married deacon if you're not married first. The life of a deacon is demanding, and so his wife and family should be involved in his discernment and decision. If God is calling you to marriage, Go and be a holy husband and father, and then discern the diaconate later down the road. Because would you want to be a permanent deacon without being married? Because that's a real thing. And deacons who become widowers can't remarry. So if you're not married yet, and you don't feel called to be a celibate deacon, you probably aren't called to the diaconate and you might just be avoiding what God is actually calling you to. In college, I often had these thoughts about becoming a married deacon, or I also thought, well, perhaps I can just raise a holy family and have lots of kids who will become priests and religious. And maybe. But don't pass the buck, and don't try to live vicariously through your children. Too many parents already do that. Don't ignore the desire to serve and love God, a desire that He has placed within your heart. Because your hypothetical children cannot live out your vocation. Only you can do that. Only unique, beautiful, unrepeatable you. God has a plan for you in this place, in this time, with all the unique experiences and situations and relationships in which He puts you. Only you can do that. Many times as a priest, I hear somebody's confession who says to me, Forgive me, Father. I've sinned. It's been 50 years, 60 years since my last confession. These people haven't been to confession since before I was born. But in God's providence, he brought us together and he planned for this from all eternity. I was created for this moment. Even if this were the only priestly thing I did in my whole life, it would be worth it. In God's providence, you are destined to save souls and be his instrument. And as a priest, you could be a mighty instrument. You would have the authority to act in the person of Jesus and change the world, bringing his body and blood in the Eucharist, wiping away sins through confession. Deacons provide a great service to our church. But if God has placed a desire in your heart for ministry now, he's probably calling you to something else. So ask God, what am I being called to now? Next time, we'll talk about our desire to make a difference. in store for me.